Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode. The topic of today is freedom and a regulated nervous system. So why am I sharing this is because Monday afternoon I had a bit of time before my calls. So after lunch I decided I would just, just like that, it hit me. I'm gonna go and wash my car because it was really really dirty embarrassingly dirty, if you ask me. So I went and I realized a few years ago, I wouldn't have been able to to do that because I was in hustle mode, struggle mode even. And I was like, wow, this is really true freedom. You know, I'm always reflecting, etc. And I'm like, wow, yeah, true freedom is going for a walk on a Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. in the forest when everybody else is at work. And just because, just because you want, just because you organize your days in a way that you please, that you feel like organizing them while prioritizing your, your clients, of course, and yourself, because it goes hand in hand. And I was just reflecting upon the miles that I've walked. And this happens when you, when you heal the guilt, the, the wounds of self-worth, and the attachment, the unhealthy attachment that you have to your business. And guilt was a big one for me because, oh my God, I'm not doing enough. Um, if I allow myself to take a, a break that is too long, then how, how can I succeed? Like, I'm not doing enough. So that was all linked to self-worth and unhealthy attachment, like I said, to my business. So I know how it feels to feel guilty for taking a break. You know, you, you want to spend time with your loved ones, for example, but you have work on your mind. Therefore, you are not fully present with them. And you resent yourself for that. Also because you should be working, quote unquote. Because you've learned that it takes hard work to create success. And hard work and dedication is different from struggling. Like struggle mode, what I call the struggle mode, right? So... When you have your own business, you feel that you should struggle more to be worthy of your results. So if you take your mind away and stop monitoring everything, if you don't have a long to-do list, then you will feel there is something wrong. I know that was the case for me a few years ago. You kind of always want to quote unquote, control everything because of imposter syndrome, for example. So if you've recognized yourself in one or more of these examples that I just described, like I said, I feel you, I've been there. And this was also because I was making my business results mean something about me or my worth. But it's more about who are you choosing to embody on your way to reaching your goals. It's not only about reaching the goals because, you know, life is a journey. It's not a destination. And it's the same for your goals. Of course you want to reach your goals, of course. But are you enjoying yourself in the process? In the past, my nervous system was not regulated. And I thought I had to constantly struggle because I was quote unquote warned that it wouldn't be easy. And this happens when you have healed the guilt, the self-worth, and the attachment that you have to your business. Because at some point, when you, when you do all of that, you regulate your nervous system, you learn to feel safe within yourself. You learn not to make your results or lack of if you are not yet where you want to be, you, you, sometimes you are hard on yourself, so you don't, you don't acknowledge the results that you've had because you're not there yet. Like you're not fully where you want to be. Therefore, you discard your efforts. 
So is you know the, the one thing that the guilt, the wound of guilt, the self-worth and the attachment that ha- that you might have to your business that they have in common is just beliefs, subconscious beliefs and societal conditioning. And this can be rewired. I'm talking to you right now. I'm recording this podcast in my car, parked by the beach. I'm seeing the sea. Literally, it's a beautiful day, almost feel like spring, although it's cold. And yes, I'm working. I'm recording this podcast because I genuinely want to. It makes me happy. It makes me happy to share things with you guys. And I can do this while I'm enjoying nature. And this this is why you have your business. This is why you want to create it in case you don't have it yet. Because you want the freedom. Human beings are not supposed to work, like do something, like do some work that we don't enjoy. We're not supposed to do that. It's just society that made us believe that we were supposed to do that. And when we do what we truly enjoy, it doesn't feel like work. Like, I'm happy to hop on sessions with my clients. Of course, it's work because we are working, but it doesn't feel like, oh, I need to work. No, it's like, okay, I have this call with this amazing human being. Let's do this. Because it it makes me happy. And I see the shifts in my clients and I see the improvement in their life. So it's all about building your nervous system, rewiring your mind to decondition yourself, especially if like myself, you come from the corporate world. Like I was 10 years in the corporate world before I started my business. So of course, my mind uh, was shaped in that way. So, but this is possible. So, I hope this episode helps. Really, journal. Journal about what you want. Journal about your insecurities. Journal about your fears. And writing things down is not setting things in stone. It's not going to make things manifest more, right? It's just to sort out your mind to... Let's say brain dump, really. Because when you have too many things in your mind, it is just like constant, like a beehive activity. Write it down. Let it out. And then choose consciously what you want to deal with and how you can, how you can shift these things that don't serve your highest good. So I really, really hope that helps. And if you need more help, to rewire your subconscious beliefs, to work with energy so that you shift those from the root cause so that it's easier for you to create new habits that are supporting your goals, your journey towards your goals. Check out my website, morganrose.com or book your free clarity call. I'm always happy to interact with you. And uh, yeah, so I wish you a nice day or night whenever you're listening to this. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.